On day one, I spawned in as a baby diamond enderman. Whoa, I was in the end with a whole crowd of endermen around me. I brought you into this world to find the ancient diamond. Ancient diamond? Suddenly, a bunch of pirates entered, and they began to attack against all of the endermen. If you don't, all hope in the world will be lost. A pirate captain slowly walked up to where I was at, and he shot at the head enderman. He told me to flee before he was killed. That diamond enderman be the key to the ancient diamond. I must have ye. He began to charge at me. I only had five hearts. I tried to run away from him, but I ran out of room. Oh no. But suddenly, I teleported. Bah! On day two, I found myself in a large village. I must have teleported from the end all the way to here. I looked around the village, and things seemed to be different about this world. Everything around the village seemed barren and partially flooded. I made my way around it and tried to ask the villagers what was going on. One of them spotted me and said, The Diamond Enderman is real! We will be saved! Save you? What's going on? How am I supposed to save you? Before the villager could answer, a group of skeleton pirates showed up and started to plunder the village. One of them spotted me and called out to the other pirates. Arr, if it isn't the Diamond Enderman, our boss, Captain Octo, will be pleased with us. I started to run away and try to teleport, but I, I wasn't able to now. I guess I don't have complete controls over my powers yet. I was able to pick up a block and throw it back at the pirates. Take that! I kept throwing blocks, but there was too many. I had no choice but to run. I made my way out of the village and continued to run until I lost the pirates. Ugh, I really need to figure out what's going on with this world. I continued to run away from the village. I was still confused as to what was going on in this world and why everyone seemed to know who I was. I ran directly into another strange enderman. This one was floating off the ground, holding a staff. Who are you? My name is Mysticus. Come with me, young diamond enderman. I was happy to see him. I followed him to a house that looked like it belonged in the end. You must find the ancient diamond before Octo does. The diamond is able to grant a single wish to whoever holds it. If Octo gets it, who knows what he will wish for? I asked Mysticus how I'll ever be able to locate the diamond, and he told me in order to do so, I will need to become much stronger and first locate the diamond ender pearl. The diamond ender pearl? But how will I do that? Mysticus dropped me some chorus fruit and told me to eat it. Once I ate it, I teleported a short distance away. Whoa! Using them should increase your strength. He told me to go into the world and use my powers to get stronger before returning back to him. I thanked him and headed out. On day four, I came across a house and watched a player enter. This would be a great time to test out my abilities. I teleported inside and went through his chests. I found myself a set of stone tools and some materials. I teleported out and used the materials to start a house for myself, but quickly ran out. I teleported back into his house and stole more materials. I heard the player coming, so I left. I could have sworn I just put my sword in here. I continue to work on my base, using my teleportation ability to easily move around and complete it. Once I was finished, I found a group of sheep and defeated them to gather wool. With the wool, I crafted a bed to sleep in. I was about to go to sleep for the night when I heard screams in the distance. Oh no, I need to go and see what's happening. I teleported towards the noises. On day five, I arrived at a large coastal village. I spotted a pirate ship nearby and knew that it must be the doing of Octo and his men. I rushed into the town and saw the pirate skeletons were harassing the villagers. Hey, stop! The skeletons turned their attention to me and began to charge at me. I started to use my Enderman abilities to pick up blocks and throw them at them again. They were still tough, but with my teleportation abilities under control, I was able to evade their attacks and take them all down. I started to feel different, and I grew into a full-sized Enderman. And look, I had 15 hearts. I also noticed that that my heart had become diamond. One of the skeletons dropped a map. It looked like the coordinates to the pirate base. This should come in handy. The villagers started to cheer for me and say the diamond enderman was real. We were cut short by the arrival of Octo, who said, Diamond enderman, ye will come with me now. I must have that wish. This world will pay for what they've done to me. Never! We began a fight, and he was still far
far too strong for me to take on. I had no choice but to run away from him again. Man, I wish I could have helped more of those villagers. I returned to Mysticus to show him my new upgrades. I was already starting to feel stronger. Amazing, Fozo. You're close to finding the Diamond Ender Pearl. I told him I was still too weak to fight against Octo, though. Mysticus assured me that I will be able to in time. You have a long way to go, but you are on your way. Here. Take this. He dropped me a strange purple charge. What is this? He told me it was a charge given to the Endermen by their protector. Before Octo defeated the Ender Dragon, these were used by the Endermen to defend themselves. I thanked Mysticus and showed him the map the pirate had dropped. He told me this would be a great way to increase my strength. I headed out following the map toward the pirate base. Grief, I need your help. What is it, old friend? On day seven, I was traveling toward the pirate base when I spotted a village. This one looked as though it was starting to flood as well. I saw villagers chasing a raccoon away. I teleported over and asked them what was going on. This little varmint stole the last of our food. Hey, I'm starving here, right? The villagers and raccoon began to fight and I broke it up. Listen, buddy, why don't you give their food back and I'll share mine? The raccoon reluctantly agreed and dropped the crops back to the villager. The name's Rocky. Not a lot of people stopped to talk to me, you know. He told me that he was used to stealing things from people and getting away with it. You know, I felt a connection to him. Here, have some of these. You'll be sent to my base when you eat it, all right? Rocky thanked me and ate some of my chorus fruit before teleporting away. All right, time to continue on my journey. On day eight, I arrived at the pirate headquarters and saw that it was swarming with skeleton pirates. I used my teleportation abilities to sneak past them and remain undetected until making it to a large ship. On top of the ship, I saw Octo speaking to some of the pirates, and he was giving them orders. He must find the Diamond Enderman. I need that wish to flood this entire world. Flood the world? That's what his plan is? The land lovers will all fall. I have to stop him before it's too late. I teleported inside and began to search the chests. I found a pirate cutlass, as well as a flintlock pistol. Hey, this should come in handy. I teleported out. Suddenly, it started to rain and Ouch! Ah! The rain! It hurts! Aw, oh, man. This place should do. I guess I have to wait this out here for now. I was heading back to my base, teleporting through the world, when I found myself in a strange arena. Inside the arena was a large lobster? Who are you? Just who I was looking for. Octo is going to be pleased. The lobster told me that he was going to capture me for the pirate. Over my dead body, buddy. Excellent. I'm overdue for a good fight. The lobster began to pound the ground, launching me into the air. It took away some of my hearts, but I had to fight back. I shot the flintlock pistol at him, but barely seemed to scratch him. I started to pick up blocks and throw them at him. The lobster laughed and continued to fight against me. Oh no, I was running out of hearts quickly. I have to get out of here. Now, I teleported off as fast as I could. You can hide from me, Diamond Enderman. On days 11 to 12, I returned back to base, feeling defeated. I then saw Rocky emerge from my house. Hey, you know, this place is great. Way better than the woods. I was happy to see Rocky was here and started to make him a home. It was going to be nice to have some company around. While he built, I teleported around, gathering material. When we finished, I noticed my house is not going to fit my new size. We continued building and expanding my base to accommodate my new upgrades. I started to ask Rocky more about his struggles with this world and how the Pirate was affecting him. Octo has been nothing but horrible to this world. He seems to be wishing destruction on all the land creatures. I expressed my desire to defeat him, but I was far too weak to take him or his lobster hunter down. Rocky suggested that I try to find some upgrades in the mines. Maybe then I would be able to put up a fight. That's a great idea. I teleported off to find some caves. On days 13 to 14, I headed into a nearby cave to search for any ores to craft myself some upgrades with. And as I traveled deeper inside, I realized that something was wrong. It seemed as though all of the ore was missing. The pirate must be hoarding all of it for himself. As I was getting ready to leave, I heard a strange noise from inside the cave, and I began a search to investigate it. I found a strange Enderman creature. Hey, who are you? The Diamond Enderman? You are real! The creature introduced himself as Mixon and said he escaped the destruction of the end from the pirate. I have been looking for any kind of 
material in these caves. But all I was able to find was this. He dropped me a strange looking diamond. Whoa, what is this? Suddenly I, I gained five hearts. I thanked Mixon for the diamond and offered him a place at my base, but he refused. He said that he would continue to search for anything useful to help me out. Thanks, man. We parted ways and I headed for the cave exit. I left the cave and standing waiting for me was Octo himself. I will never let you get to that ancient diamond, okay? Don't fight, Fozo. Ye are only delaying the inevitable. Why? Why are you doing Doing this? What did the world ever do to you? Why? When Kreeft and I were young and ventured on land, all the creatures and villagers shunned us. It wasn't until I gained power and transformed that I earned respect. I had to steal, but the Endermen always beat me with their teleportation. Yar, that's why I destroyed your precious end. Now, you're coming with me. I'm sorry for the way they treated you, but that doesn't mean that you have to do this. Octo didn't listen to me and began to slap me with his sword. I tried to teleport it away and use the flint. <laughs> I acquired, as well as my block throwing abilities, but it seemed futile as he was fast. He began to summon tentacles in an effort to grab me and capture me. And no, get away! I had to teleport. I began to flee to go see Mysticus. On days 17 to 18, I arrived at Mysticus's house and told him how I had suffered another defeat to Octo. Mysticus told me not to worry because eventually I would become far more powerful than he ever was. I showed Mysticus the strange diamond that I was given by Mixon, and he became excited. You're one step closer to unlocking the diamond pearl. I believe there are more of these in the world. He began to tell me in order to find the pearl, I would have to understand where it came from. There is a structure in the desert that you must go to and learn more about the full story. He told me to get a move on because Octo was not going to be waiting for me. I quickly began to teleport off to find this structure. On days 19 to 20, I made my way through the desert when I spotted a large pyramid. This must be the place. Inside, I found a book at the center and began to read from it long ago. Endermen defended this temple. They were the guardians of the diamond dimension and the ancient diamond that was held within it. The Endermen shared the wealth from the other side with players and villagers around the world. As time passed though, greedy players tried to steal the pearl from the Endermen to capture all the riches from the other side for themselves. Eventually, the Endermen decided it was better to hide the pearl away from the world to preserve the ancient diamond and its powers. Only the diamond Endermen with a pure heart would be able to locate the pearl and once again protect it. The book ended. What does any of this mean? Ugh, this felt useless. I headed off toward my base. I made my way back into base and waiting for me was Rocky. He told me that we had run out of coarse fruit and he was starting to starve. We were gonna need a more reliable food source. I went out into the world and began to gather seeds. While I was doing that, Rocky expanded his home. As soon as I got back, Rocky and I began to work on our farm. I told Rocky I was frustrated with all the pressure that seemed to be put on to me. I never asked for this. You didn't ask for it, but you are probably the only way out of this entire mess. My raccoon friend was right. I owed it to everyone to stop this pirate. It was the reason I was created. I said goodbye and headed off to talk with Mysticus about what I had learned. On days 24 to 26, I was traveling through the world when I encountered Kreef again. You again. How did you find me? I am the greatest tracker in the world. You will never be able to hide from me. Why? Why do you even work with this pirate? He wants nothing but destruction and to flood the entire world. He was the only one who cared for me. When the rest of the world turned their backs. Before I gained my powers, all of the creatures shunned me. Most tried to kill me. Not him. He took me in and helped me gain the strength I have now. And I owe him everything. I'm sorry for the way people treated you. But you shouldn't work with this guy. Kreeft shook his head and told me to come with him or else. I would never go with you. He rushed at me and bashed me with his claws. Ouch. I began a fight with him using everything I had. I could tell with my increased strength, I was putting up more of a fight, but it didn't seem to be enough. I was running out of heart. I took out the special diamond and suddenly all my health was restored. Even with these regeneration abilities, I knew I wasn't going to be able to last much longer. It was just too strong. I teleported off. Huh. His base must be this way then. <laughs>
On days 27 to 29, I arrived at Mysticus home and quickly told him what I learned from traveling to the temple. I learned nothing about how to obtain the pearl. Mysticus shook his head and then said, Oh, Diamond Enderman, it's not just the pearl you seek. He then told me that in order to make it to the Diamond Dimension, I would have to obtain the Diamond Eye of Ender. The Diamond Eye of Ender? Yes. Similar to a regular Eye of Ender, you must combine the Diamond Pearl with a Diamond Blaze Rod. He told me it was not just an ordinary blaze rod, but the diamond blaze rod from the monstrosity blaze that made its home in the overworld. He is unlikely to give it up willingly, though. You will have to take it by force. By force? Is it right to defeat a creature just to save another? Mysticus told me in order to save the world, I would have to make difficult decisions. Oh man, I don't know about this. I left toward the location he gave me though. I have to figure out another way. While I was traveling toward the location, I spotted a village that was partially flooding. It seemed as though Octo was really making an impact all over the world. I decided to stop by the village and see if I could help. The Diamond Enderman! Please! You must help us! Everything is flooding! The villager began to explain that because of the flooding, a lot of their people were starving due to the lack of farmland. I went out into the world and used some of the spare wheat I had collected from my farm to lure cows back to the village. After that, I built a pen for the cows and was getting ready to leave when the villager stopped me. Thank you, Enderman, for your help. You have no idea the amount that you're doing for this world. They dropped me an iron chest plate and pants. Wow! Hopefully, this serves me well. I continued on my journey. Oh, Diamond Enderman! Where are you? Oh, no, this isn't good. Ah, come out, Diamond Enderman! Ah! On days 33 to 35, I came across a large structure that looked like it was from the nether. Well, this must be the place. I made my way inside. I came to an open room where I found the large diamond blaze. I told the blaze why I was there and asked him if he would share the rod with me. The blaze didn't say anything back to me and just began to attack. I used my teleportation abilities to avoid some of his attacks and then threw blocks at him from a safe distance. The blaze continued to rush at me and I had no choice but to fight with him up close. Uh, come on, man. Can't we just talk things through? I used the diamond I had to regenerate my hearts again and then began to flee. Oh, man. I felt like a failure. I headed back toward my home. On days 36 to 38, I arrived at my base. No. Why is everything destroyed? What happened? I looked around and saw that Rocky wasn't there either. Rocky! Rocky, where are you? I'm here. Oh, thank goodness. He told me while I was gone, Kreeft had come and destroyed our base looking for me. I was happy to see my friend, but told him how terrible I was feeling about everything. I don't know if I could do this. Hey, hey, listen here. You are the Diamond Enderman. You inspire everyone. It is your destiny to do this, okay? You just need to keep trying. Yeah, I know. I can't lose hope now, especially while everyone is counting on me. Come on, let's work on our base upgrades. We went to work. We couldn't show any sign of weakness to Octo and Kreeft. After we finished, it was late, so we decided to rest for the night. Fozo! Fozo! Ah, I was woken up by the arrival of Mixon at my base. What is it? Did you find another of those special diamonds? No, but I was able to locate the cave with materials. Oh, that's great news. I thanked them for the information and headed off to find the cave. I made my way to the cave and saw it was filled with iron ore as well as emeralds. I started to collect the iron. I then used it to finish my iron armor. And look at that. I even had a set of iron tools. After that, I then mined the emeralds. I should take these to the villagers and distribute them. This will be a great way to start getting things back to normal. Octo is back! Where be the diamond? Ah, please leave us alone! On days 42 to 44, I returned to the village and saw it was attacked. Octo must have been here. I had to teleport inside because the water level was too high. The villagers are all standing on their roofs. The villagers confirmed what I suspected. Octo had come and attacked the entire village looking for something. We have not lost hope though. You are still with us. I was happy that the villagers hadn't lost their spirit. I distributed the emeralds amongst them and then told them where my base was. You guys can go there and make it 
a new home. The villagers were appreciative of my offer and agreed. Octo also took something from us. The villager told me that they had stashed away a special diamond and were saving it for me. I knew where Octo would take the diamond. I headed off toward his base. On days 45 to 47, I made my way to Octo's base. I used my teleportation abilities to sneak past the guards and search the base undetected. I went to several buildings and looked through the chests, but I wasn't able to find anything of use. Finally, I found myself in what appeared to be his treasury, and I began to look through the chests. I found a set of diamond tools, as well as a few spare diamonds. Sick. I opened the final chest and found, yes, it was another one of the special diamonds. I grabbed it, and suddenly I gained five more hearts, as well as a new ability. With this, I should hopefully be able to defeat the blaze. Oh no. I started to hear commotion and saw skeleton pirates entering the room. I quickly teleported out to remain unseen. I heard alarms start to sound at the pirate's base. Oh, they must have discovered something was missing. A group of skeleton pirates started to rush at me, and I used my elevated position and new ability to make quick work of them. I was definitely feeling stronger with my newly acquired diamond upgrades. I was getting ready to leave when I spotted Kreeft. How's your base, Fozo? I teleported in front of him and began a fight against him. I could tell that I was seriously starting to deal some damage. My new ability was very strong, and he was starting to grow weak. I think I might be able to defeat him. But I spoke too soon. He stand no chance against us. They began to fight me together. And I wasn't nearly strong enough to defeat both of them at once. I teleported off to talk with Mysticus. What did the Damon Enderman take? On days 51 to 53, I arrived at Mysticus's house and showed him the new ability I had acquired with the special diamond. That is excellent news, Fozo. The Enderman told me he was proud of me and that I was really getting close to unlocking the pearl. You should be able to acquire the diamond blaze rod now. You're probably right. I should be able to take him down, no problem. I was conflicted with having to defeat him, but I knew I would have to if it came to it. Goodbye, Mysticus. Thank you. If he is able to get the blaze rod, I will have to follow him to the pearl. On days 54 to 56, I returned to the Diamond Blaze's lair. As I approached, the Blaze prepared to attack again. Wait! I want to make a deal with you. What is it that you seek? I told the Blaze about Octo and my quest to protect the ancient diamond. Please, would you just be willing to give me one of your Diamond Blaze rods? This will save the entire world. What makes you believe I care? the troubles of this world. The blaze began to attack me. It was clear he didn't want to help me. I had no choice but to fight him despite how conflicted I felt. My strength had increased since the last time we fought too. His attacks had dealt less damage and I can tell he was not ready to face me with my new abilities. I teleported close to him and took him down with my pirate cutlass. Yes. With the diamond blaze gone, he left behind the blaze rod I needed. I was so close to finding the ancient diamond. I returned to my base and noticed that the villagers had arrived and got to work making homes. Rocky told me while I was gone, they had arrived and he helped them build houses with Mixon. Mixon had also built himself a home amongst the villagers at my base. I was glad to see that everything was coming together. With all the new faces at my home, I knew that we were gonna need more food to support us. I collected more seats and then with Rocky's help, expanded the farm at our house. That way, no one would go hungry. I started talking to Rocky about how close I felt to unlocking the diamond dimension. Hey, yeah, that's great. We all believe in you and stuff. You just have to stay strong for all of us, okay? I still needed to locate where the pearl was. I feel something happening. What's going on? Ugh. I was inside of a weird room and standing before me was the diamond pearl. Where was I though? Why was I here? Ugh. What just happened? Rocky asked me what was wrong. And I told them I knew where the pearl was. I have to go there now. On days 60 to 62, I began to teleport through the world on the way to the pearl's location. I didn't know where it was, but something was calling to me. And I followed in the direction. I arrived at what seemed to be a large door with pedestals in front of it. There were three of them that were empty. I heard rumblings and a large ender golem appeared in front of me. Who are you? I am the guardian of the diamond pearl. I have been waiting for you for a long time. The golem told me that he was sent here by the ancient Enderman 
Island to protect the pearl from anyone who tried to obtain it. So how will I be able to get inside then? I have to get the pearl to save the world. You have already acquired two of the special diamonds, but you must find the final one. He told me that if I equip the pedestals with the diamonds, it would open the door. Okay. I placed my diamonds on the pedestal and then asked where the final one was. The golem told me on an island far away from here. I have to act fast. I thanked the golem for his help and teleported off to find the final diamond. Final diamond? Poor diamond enderman. I shall get that before you. On day 63 to 65, I traveled to the large island the golem had told me about. I teleported up the slope of the island, and standing in front of me was Kreeft. What are you doing here? I can ask you the same thing. This was my home before Octo found me. I gave Kreeft the chance to surrender and allow me to pass. I'm so much stronger than you are now, and we don't have to fight. I will never give up. The ancient diamond will be ours. He jumped at me and we started a fight. Thankfully, I was able to avoid most of his attacks with my teleportation. Ugh, that ground slam is starting to get real old, you know. He slammed the ground again, launching me into the air, but I was able to teleport to the ground. This seemed like the perfect time to use my dragon charge. Man, I, I forgot I had this thing. I threw it at him, and the effects slowly started to weaken him. It was clear he was unable to fight anymore. You will never stop Octo. I hit him with the final strike and took him down. I felt stronger and i upgraded into my final form i was a larger diamond enderman with 30 hearts i don't think octo will stand a chance against me now i saw a temple and figured it held the final diamond on days 66 to 68 i entered the structure on the island and saw the final diamond standing in front of me oh man mysticus is gonna be so proud of me step away from the diamond fozo i turned to see he was standing behind me what are you doing here i am here for the diamond so don't try and stop me mysticus i wouldn't try to stop you i thought we were working together mysticus told me that he believed she was the one destined to save the world not me. What are you talking about? I'm the Diamond Enderman. We could work together to stop this. Can't you see? It should have been me. I should have been the Diamond Enderman. Why do you get to be so special? I should be the one to save the world. Mysticus, stop. What are you doing? He began to attack me, summoning magic from his staff. I tried to dodge the attacks, but they were so powerful. The attacks hit a large area of the room, and I knew I was outmatched. I was weak, and I couldn't fight anymore. I had to watch as Mysticus took the diamond and left. How could I have let him take the final diamond? I'd failed the entire world. I don't know what he's planning on doing with it, but all I know is I have to stop him to protect everyone. I headed back to my base, and when I arrived, I was feeling so defeated. It's not your fault, Diamond Andy. How could you have known he was evil? Yeah, Fozo, you can't blame yourself. You don't know everything. Man, I should have seen this coming. Rocky told me none of it mattered while I still had the blaze rod. He wouldn't be able to create the eye. Yeah, I know. You're right. And this actually gave me an idea. Maybe something at that pyramid would help me fight back against them. I headed off toward the pyramid. Yeah, so this is where he's been hiding. On day 72 to 74, I entered and looked around for anything that could be of use to me. Nothing seemed to be different about this place, though. But I didn't give up hope. I continued to search. Only the Diamond Enderman shall enter. Oh, about Suddenly, there were large rumblings from inside the pyramid. I noticed that things were starting to change. I looked up and noticed that the top had become covered in diamonds once again. I heard mummers and turned around to see an Enderman Titan, the same one that brought me into this world. I am proud of what you have accomplished. But I haven't done anything. Look around. I feel like every time I take a step forward, something drags me two steps back. How am I supposed to be destined for this world if I can't even do anything right? You have nothing to fear. 
The Titan told me that I must not give up hope, for the power is still inside of me. And what is that supposed to mean? Ugh, doesn't matter. I need to head back to my base, and fast. On day 75 to 77, I noticed that something was off. There was no sight of anyone. Rocky, Mixon, where are you guys? Uh, if you want to see your friends again, you will hand over whatever you have obtained for the Diamond Eye of Ender. Octo, how did you find my base? And how do you know about the eye. He told me that he knew more than I thought and wanted the blaze rod immediately. I'm not giving you anything until you tell me where my friends are. They are safe, but I will not return them until you hand over the blaze rod. Oh man, I was conflicted. I couldn't let any harm come to them. They had never done anything wrong. But if I gave him this blaze rod, it surely would mean the end of the world. No, no, no. What do I do? You can do it. You can save our world. Man, I didn't have a choice. He doesn't have the pearl, so everything should still be safe. Fine. I dropped him the blaze rod. Now return my friends. Octo picked up the blaze rod and laughed as he walked out of my base. My friends reappeared. Oh, thank goodness. But still, Octo had exactly what he needed. How could you do that? Surely the world is doomed now. Calm down, Rocky. He still doesn't have the diamond pearl, so there's nothing to fear for now. And plus, how could I let him kill my only friends in this world? Thank you for saving us. Rocky agreed with Mixon and thanked me for not letting Octo take them. I was glad to see everyone was back. Now listen, guys. We don't have much time. I need to get both the pearl from Mysticus and the blaze rod from Octo. We began to formulate a plan to obtain both of them. Now, to find that blaze rod. I see you hand-delivered the pearl for me. That wish is mine, Octo. So, if we do all of that, then everything should go according to plan. Wait, I can sense something terrible was happening at the pyramid. Mysticus was in trouble. Oh, no. I quickly teleported away. Well, that did uh, not go according to plan. On days 81 to 85, I made it back to the pyramid to see Mysticus and Octo fighting. Octo was overpowering him. Before I could step in, he took Mysticus down and grabbed the pearl, combining it with my diamond. And blaze rod. As he combined them, he vanished, leaving just the diamond eye of Ender on the pedestal. I rushed to Mysticus' side, who said, What? What have I done? You, you must stop him, Diamond Enderman. He apologized for everything that he did. He just said that he wanted to be the chosen one. Just wanted to be a better Enderman. No, 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 no. Mysticus, you just need a rest, okay? But he told me it was the end for him. I believe in you. Mysticus passed, and I quickly grabbed the diamond eye of Ender, and in a massive flash of light, I was transported to the diamond dimension. I saw Octo. Oh, no, you don't. He was racing toward the ancient diamond. I tried to teleport in front of him, but I was too late. He grabbed the diamond and began to make his wish. I wish for this world to be flooded so all learn creatures would pay for the way they treated me. There was a large blast of light, and I was unable to do anything. On days 86 to 90, I was returned to the world, but the place looked totally different. Everything was flooded. Octo had everything that he wanted. I slowly made my way back to base, teleporting from high ground to high ground. If I touched any of this water, I was done for. When I got to base, all of the villagers and my friends were on top of the roofs. The flooding must be everywhere. I reunited with my friends. Thankfully, they all had made it. I'm just glad you guys are okay. I was worried that you were not making through the flood. It was a struggle, but we managed to climb to safety. I told them how Mysticus had died and how I was clearly unable to stop Octo. How are we going to solve this? It appears as though the water is rising. I don't know, but we have to figure something out, guys. We just have to. I looked down and noticed that the water level had risen since we started to talk. Oh, no, I'm running out of time. I told them about my encounter with the Enderman Titan and what he had said. I guess all hope really is lost. The power is inside you. The power is inside of me? I just didn't understand what he meant. How was the power inside of me all along? Wait a second. I'm a diamond enderman. In a flash of light, another ancient diamond appeared in front of me. What? How did you do that? The power was inside of me. Just like the enderman had said. There weren't just one ancient diamond, but two. Uh, okay, sure. I didn't have time to explain. I needed to get to the diamond dimension and get everything back 
to normal. On days 95 to 99, I arrived back at the pyramid, but this time it was totally flooded. I had to think quickly of how I would be able to get inside without dying. As I was trying to come up with a plan, I heard a familiar voice. What are you doing? I'm gonna restore this world to what it was before. You're a monster for what you have done. Octo said this was everything he had ever worked for, and there was no way he was gonna let me undo it. Yeah, we'll see about that. We began to fight, and I felt stronger than I ever was before. You will fail this world like you already have. I refused to listen to him and kept on fighting. Everything was counting on me to not give up. I hit him back as much as I could, trying to buy time. Suddenly, he pushed me into the water. Ah! I was losing hearts quickly. I had only one shot at this. I teleported inside the temple and swam toward the eye. It hurt, but I had to press on. Come on. Come on, Fozo. You can do this. I grabbed the eye. No! It was day 100, and I was back inside the diamond dimension. I began to hurry toward the pedestal the ancient diamond was placed on before. I was tired and low on hearts, but I knew everything was close to... Where do you think you're going? He had followed me through the portal. Oh, no. Our fight continued, and I was on the verge of death. You will never win while I still breathe. I felt so weak. How was I going to be able to survive through this? Suddenly, there was a flash of light, and a beam shot toward towards myself an Octo, causing an explosion. It hurt him, but healed me. I turned to see Mysticus was standing there. Mysticus, you're back. You must save this world, Fozo. I'm sorry for what I've done. I accepted his apology, and he faded away. I kept fighting using everything I had on Octo. From throwing blocks to my diamond explosion ability, I can tell that I was starting to weaken him. This is not possible. He cannot win. I'm fighting for everyone on Earth. Octo. I will never give up. I shot another diamond explosion at him, and it defeated him. No! I did it. The flood. I quickly placed the ancient diamond. I wish for the world and everything and everyone inside of it to be restored. In a flash of light, I was back in my unflooded base, and all my friends were there. The world had been saved.